right, well, on a much lighter note, the lights have all been strung, the tree is trimmed. All that's missing is a new forever friend. We're talking about our four legged friends, that is, here with details on the Home for the Holidays pet adoption event. Or Desiree Colley and Sarah Garrigan, along with Holly. Yes. Is that right? Yes. So tell us about Holly. Holly is a five year old schnoodle. A schnoodle. So, <laughs> yes. what is a schnoodle? Aside from a very funny word, what is it? She is a schnauzer poodle mix. A schnauzer yes. poodle mix. Okay. She, she's my little guard dog. She's actually been in foster for the last few months, okay. uh, working on some anxiety issues. Okay. She does. She gets very nervous around men. So we're really we're okay. working with her to you know bring out her inner cuteness and. Actually, with one of the tech guys, she was all wiggle butt and oh, good. wanting to play. So she's, good. she's coming out of her shell more and more. That's great. All right, well, let's talk about Home for the Holidays. This mm -hmm. is happening this weekend. What's it yes. all about? This is the biggest our adoption mm -hmm. event of the year. Yeah. It's We're shooting them for over 250 animals. Mm -hmm. It's Watermelon Mountain Ranch and City of Albuquerque Animal Welfare. Mm -hmm. And like nine other rescue groups are going to be really? out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, working hard. Really? And over 300 animals should be there. So plenty to pick from. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of them are looking for a forever home. Mm -hmm. Now, when you say animals, you know, a lot of times we talk, obviously, about the dogs. Does that include cats as well? Oh, cats ca are looking yes. for forever homes, too? Adults and kittens. Adults and kittens. Mm -hmm. okay. We're still getting a lot of kittens in, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Surprising, you know, even though it's supposed to be kitten season, supposed to be over, mm -hmm. uh, we're still getting those in and still puppies. So, plenty to pick from. And yes. from any size that you're looking for, yeah. we probably have it. Yeah. Now, one thing that, that I think is kind of curious, we were just talking about this in break. This is actually a season where a lot of people are surrendering animals. Yes. yes. So you guys are starting to see the, the shelters filling up. This is a great opportunity for someone, you know, and I, I hate right. to use this phrase, but, you know, one person's trash being another person's treasure. If someone gives them up for whatever reason, sometimes the reasons, in my opinion, are not that great. Right. But this is a great opportunity to, right. to give that fostering and loving and nurturing forever home to these animals. Yes. I would be, you know, that's so true, and and especially during the holidays, what a sad time, especially for us when we see them and it's Christmas time and yeah. and they're there, you know, and um, so we're hoping to bring some a lot of cheer to these animals this mm -hmm. holiday, and I know that finding that perfect home will do that for them as mm -hmm. well, and so uh, this in each pet adoption, it also includes the microchip, mm -hmm. the spay and neuter, mm -hmm. the uh, license, everything, so mm -hmm. it, they're all, all the ready shots, to go. They're all fully yes. vaccinated. All the shots, yeah. They have everything that they need yeah. other than a home. Yeah, so, and that's, mm -hmm. you know, and we were just talking earlier in the show, uh, microchipping, we were talking about a story of a dog that was lost in Red River and found right. six months later. Yep. So, so important to have that microchip, and it's included. It right. is. That's yes. great. So, what is the process? Someone comes down, is there a meet and greet opportunity, yes. a time for us to hang yes. out, see if we're compatible with the animals? Mm -hmm. How does that right. process work? Yeah, you, we encourage folks to not only meet and greet the animals, but if they have animals at home, mm -hmm. bring okay. the dogs down to the event. Right. Okay, so we can bring yes. our animals with yes. us. Yes, please okay. do. We'd rather have that interaction on a neutral territory versus is at home when your dog mm -hmm. might be a little more defensive of guarding with sure. a brand new dog. Sure. Come out, play on the grass a little while, spend some time. We encourage it for at least 30 minutes okay. to really meet the animal, know their personality before you take them all the way home. Right. Okay, so, you know, we're talking 30 minutes, 300 animals, that's a lot of time. So the mm -hmm. hours that you guys are going to be doing this, how long is it going to be going on? Friday, we're going to be open from 12 to 7, mm -hmm. Saturday from 10 to 7, okay. and Sunday 10 to 4. Okay, fantastic, guys. And this is located at the PetSmart on Coors Bypass. That's at 10248. Of course, we will have all the information at uh, krqe.com for the home for the holidays. Uh, so is Holly, is Holly spoken for? Is someone watching if they want to maybe they, meet her? We are working on her, and hopefully she'll be coming out of foster this okay. week. But if not, we are taking in a... I have 30 dogs coming from a high kill shelter on wow. Thursday, so I do actually need fosters if someone wanted to come down and foster okay. a dog just overnight. Okay. One night, give them a soft place to land, and uh -huh. then bring them back and find their forever home. So that could be a good opportunity as well this weekend if someone maybe yes. is not ready to make that 100% commitment. Yes. Uh, you know, being responsible about it, but they also want to help. They can, they can get information foster. about fostering right. as yes. well. It's fantastic. Ladies, thank you so much, Holly. Pleasure to meet you, sweet girl. You're so sweet. We're going to get you forever home. Again, <laughs> folks, head over to KRQB.com. We'll be right back.